back then, so I'll stop by. Appreciate that. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put in one of these uh, range plugs. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, so I got my headlamp, but it's kind of making it worse. Um, so, anyways, this is what I will be showing you how to put in. Can't really see it. It is the range plug. It's got the three straight blades, 50 amp. Um, so, got all the wires already stripped out, ready to go. I'm um, just going to grab a screwdriver here and get started. Um, these are all silver, so that's annoying. Um, so, you just have to read it. There's a spot for the white, the green, X and Y are your aughts, so your red and your red and your black. So I'm gonna start out with the ground one over here. Oh, you didn't see any of that. So um, this one is green. White says white is for white. Green is for green. And X and X and Y is for your red and black wire. So I'm gonna start out with the green one right there, or the bare wire, and then just screw that down. Um, So I'm gonna tighten it with this and then come back and then tighten it with the big screwdriver. So got the ground and then next I'm gonna to go to the uh, X, which is gonna be a hot wire so you can go red or black. Um, red's closer, so I'm gonna go with the red one. It's kind of a difficult process. You're gonna to have to hold it there and tighten it at the same time. So I'm just going to keep the sheathing right at the back of the plug. This is not the right screwdriver exactly for this um, screw. Um, and then I got the white going into the white. Tighten this one down. Black to the Y screw, I think it was. Just hold it right where it needs to be at the edge. And then I'm going to come back and use the big screwdriver, the 600 6. You um, can't really see that, but there she is. So I'm just going to tighten these down real quick. Make sure they're tight. See, this one is, I already turned it like three times. That's how loose it was. Just using the wrong screwdriver for the application. You could probably use like a number three square or something like that. I'm not sure the exact size, so don't quote me on that. I think these are Leviathan plugs, so. If yours has a green screw, then go to the ground. And if it has a uh, silver screw, go to the white screw and if it has two gold screws go those are for your hot wires so if you got all silver screws like I do then read the back of it try not to stab your hand or the wall makes life easier I'm gonna tighten down the ground and then I'll be ready to put it in the wall All right, so now you got everything tight, maybe give it a little pull, make sure stuff ain't gonna come out. And then depending on where the hole is on the wall, this is between a cabinet on the left side right here, cabinet on the right side, can't really see that, but um, this is a little bit on the right side, so I'm gonna put the plug on the, or the ground on the right side. If the box was over here, then I would put the ground on the left side, because when you plug it in, the cord is on the, the cord goes opposite of the ground, so you want the cord to not turn into the wall if the box is over here. You have to flip it over and take it apart and flip it over. So basically I'm going to um, point the ground on the plug um, opposite, or on the sh put it on the short side of the wall. So I got like a foot over here and like two feet over here. That makes sense to you. So I'm gonna put the ground on the right side so it has longer, more room for the cord. Um, for it has, so it has more, turning radius to go under the stove or whatnot. So you're just gonna have to manhandle this. Stuff is 
stuff out on the wall. Grab your screws right here, open this up. Easy way to do that is just to fold it over the plastic, pull them out, or cut it open whenever you want, depending on what tools you have. So I'm getting my four screws, and then I'm going to use my number one uh, square drive. Start screwing these in. Don't screw it in all the way just yet. <clears throat> Just get them all started. And then you'll <clears throat> come back, <clears throat> come back and level it out. Can't really see that right now, sorry. Last screw. So you're just gonna wanna um, put one of these down first. Usually one of the corners. Um, it doesn't matter top or bottom. And luckily for me, this box, um, <clears throat> it's flat, so it's either gonna be sitting on the sheetrock or on the box. So I try to have it all the same, so it's level. Um, so luckily mine's sitting on the box, so I won't have a problem. Basically, you can kind of level it out or eyeball it. Um, right now I can kind of set it there and see that it's not level, but um, you can kind of also just eyeball it with the floor on the bottom and make sure kind of already know it's going to have to go up a little bit so uh, if you can put it on the uh, put the level on the edge of the metal then that helps out um, but if not then just kind of eyeball it um, and then you can check it again in the air if that makes sense so what i mean by holding it in the air is basically just if it's already in the wall, you can like set it on the outside of the edge and make sure it's level or kind of <clears throat> that makes sense. So, anyways, it's pretty crooked right now, so I'm gonna have to level this up. So that looks better. I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit on this side, and then I'm gonna assume it's gonna be as straight as it's gonna get. That looks pretty good with the floor. I would hold it up, but I probably can't see it exactly. You can kind of get down there if you want to, but um, you basically just hold it where the edge of the metal's at, and then you can see if it's level, but I think it's pretty close for the most part, but it's gonna be covered by a stove, so no excuses though. So then you're gonna take your plate right here and then grab your plate screws wherever those went. I lost them. I got my plate screws right here. And then I'm going to use a twirly screwdriver right now just to get these all started or maybe even finish them. And then I'm going to pop them into the plate so I don't um, have to do that later or when it's against the wall. And this will keep everything in place. And then you have to figure out which direction you're going. That's the short side, this is the long side. So I'm going to go ahead and start screwing these in. Once I tighten down the other two screws, of course. <laughs> Thought I was gonna miss those, y'all. All right, so once you get those done, then you can throw your cover on. Just gonna find one hole real quick. And then once you find one hole, find your diagonal opposite. And then you're gonna find your last two ones really easily. And you just kind of go over all four of these. Um, go over these a few times, kind of at the same level. If that makes sense. Just kind of go over these a few times. That one's kind of sucking in a little bit too much. But. So that's pretty much it for the most part. And then you level your screws out if you want to. Throw my level on there, and it's not the most level, so kind of bring it up sometimes like that, or kind of hit it, bump it over with your level, but I screwed these down pretty tight, so it's going to be a little bit crooked probably, you might fix that off camera, but anyways, once you do that, and then you can level your screws out, I use them to match the blades on the uh, plug-in, so I'm going to just have them going sideways like that, like that, like that. 
and like this. That should do it, guys. So, if you enjoyed or if this helped you out, make sure to drop a like on the video. I'd appreciate it. Help me out. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and daily electrical videos. Um, don't forget to check the description and um, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks, guys, so much. That concludes the tutorial tutorials for this day. Thanks, guys, so much. Have an awesome rest of the day. Peace out. God bless. All right, guys, I got it fixed. Sorry, this is freaking out. So I got it fixed or leveled out if you guys thought I was playing. Got that right there. Boom. Good enough. All right, guys, that should do it. Thanks, guys. Peace out.